So are we on? We're on. So we're reporting to you live from the Gwinnett Medical Center where Yasu has undergone the first triple valve surgery um, and has exceeded all expectations. He is uh, 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 without any kind of support lines. Uh, he's eating. He has walked. Um, he has been compliant with all the medical treatments and uh, he's on a fast track to recovery. Great news. Mulligan, do yeah. you want to say something? I can't say anything. He's a serious song. Does he want to say anything for us? No, no, no. Let's tell him what's going on. Let's tell him what's going on. You guys born me for the second time in my life. The first buzz is from his mom, and the second one is from you. Well, well I, I am going to be in Gondor in two months, mm -hmm. and we're going to jog together. I'm very happy to do that. As, as, uh, as the... I would like to thank everybody around this project. I would like to thank the, the people. Great. You will have more time to say thank you uh, in a few days. Yeah. Uh, hopefully everything will go uh, really, really well. So our first thanks will go to Dr. David Langford, who performed the surgery. Uh, we want to thank the Gwinnett Medical Center. We want to have a special thanks to JHI for making all of this possible and coordinating everything and making all the pieces fall into place seamlessly so that everything could be accomplished exactly the way we were, we were hoping. Do I leave anyone out? Yes, uh, Medtronic. We want to thank Medtronic for a donation of heart valves. Uh, we want to thank the radiology department at Gwinnett Medical Center for pathology, um, as well as anesthesia, Dr. Rex Foster, who performed the, helped perform the surgery, and all the team that we have here that supports cardiovascular surgery and Gwinnett Medical Center. How, how long did the surgery take? Uh, uh, the, Total surgical time was about seven, seven and a half hours. He was in the operating room for almost nine hours uh, with some re bleeding, but all of that was addressed and uh, with some correction of coagulation problems, all the bleeding stopped. And uh, he went to surgery about seven in the morning and really got back into the room about 4.30 or 5 in the afternoon. And what's the recuperation period? Well, it's going to be faster than we predicted. We said <laughs> it would be about a month, but I have a feeling it's going to be more like three weeks. That would be uh, exceeding all expectations. And, and what's the what happens after the recuperation period? What's the prognosis? Well, the concern, of course, is that we get adequate help with uh, following the uh, uh, chemistries, the, the international uh, ratio of uh, how Coumadin is functioning, and that's going to be an effort uh, coordinated with physicians in Gondor. Uh, to make sure Coumadin is administered at the correct dose. Not and, too high and not too low. And what will be his functioning uh, once he gets back to Gondor? He will eventually have no restrictions whatsoever. So he's going to be back to working on those cars that he loves so much. Absolutely. <laughs> Thank you. I'm ready to for that. He's Good. saying I'm ready to go back and start working. Good. With his previous strings. Thank you very much. Thank you.